Today we're going to take you on our travel day. We are leaving Las Vegas and we're going to be making a fast trip to Washington. That's right. We got uh, two or three probably travel days back to back. And we're going to take you guys along with us from Las Vegas all the way to Washington State. And you're going to want to stick around to the end because we have a weight loss update for y'all. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. It's travel day, y'all. We are leaving Las Vegas. And babe, where are we headed? North into Utah. What city? No clue. <laughs> We're going to Fillmore, Utah. And to be fair, he doesn't know because I didn't book it until last night. Um, and so that's how we're doing this portion of the trip. We're going up to Washington pretty quickly from Las Vegas. We're only going to stop um, one night unless the weather tells us otherwise. Um, and I think four different stops on our way to Washington. And so we'll take you along for the ride. And it's going to be cold up here, right? Um, yeah. Well, tonight I think it's going to be in the mid 30s in Fillmore. Um, and then. Uh, that's better the than the free. Holder. That's better than the freezing they had a couple of days ago. We actually extended yes. in uh, at Nellis Air Force Base because it was going to be freezing, literally freezing temperatures where we're heading now. Guys, it's mid-April, almost the end of April. Yeah, April, and we've still got freezing temps on our route. Yeah, April 24th. <laughs> we saw that there's a possibility of snow uh, in the west in the next couple of days, but I looked on our route and it looks like we're going to be clear. I let's hope and pray so. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll take you along and we'll show you if we get snow, there's going to be a problem. <laughs> so far we've almost made it all year without snow one snow flurry down in texas didn't stick only a few flakes we're still calling that a loss but not on the ground we don't want any on the ground nope <laughs> <laughs> Well, we kind of have a different setup today than we normally do. The TPMS that you can see right here is normally way over here. But when I um, realized, actually I realized that I left it in the truck and I normally take it in and uh, just so I can make sure it's charged up. And it was actually left on the whole time. So it was almost dead. Luckily it shuts itself off. Um, but it only had one little dot of power left so instead of putting it over here I slid it over there underneath the rearview mirror and we actually plugged it into the truck so that's not normally there uh, but hey you know life of full-time RVers you never know what to expect you gotta improvise adapt and overcome <laughs> We found this KOA journey in Fillmore, Utah and stayed a night here. It's a nice little KOA, uh, only 50 some sites, very friendly staff inside. And we were just here for the night, like I said, it's kind of in a, a small town in the middle of nowhere, Utah. 
but uh, it was a very nice stop for the night. If you could see, if it wasn't snowing, that's right, snowing today, <laughs> that was not in the forecast, or definitely not in our plan, plans. There's a beautiful mountain range back there, snow topped. It's gonna have, have even more snow now, but I'll show you our site. We're in site 15 and you can see that there's a nice grassy yard here. This is 50 amp full hookups. Over there's the swimming pool. We didn't take advantage of that. I don't even think it's open up yet. <laughs> and there's the other side of the site. Back that way is a playground and there's a small dog park and a nice area to walk the dogs. This is a great spot for an overnight stop. Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge I'm ready to go See it clear when the shadows are lit I'm ready to go Well, as you just saw when we were packing up, it is travel day and it was snowing. Um, we didn't want that. It was not in the forecast and definitely not on our list. <laughs> but thankfully it has stopped and we are traveling through Utah. Where are we going, babe? Idaho. Yes, we are going to Jerome, I think it is. Idaho, just east of Twin Falls. And uh, just for one night, we might do two nights depending on how the campground is. We've got a couple of spare days to throw in there um, before we have to be in Washington on May 1st. So um, we'll see how the campground is and look at our route and see what we want to do. But it is supposed to be a little bit warmer there. Um, I hope so. <laughs> it was pretty cold this morning and I didn't drag out the heavy coat, so it was cold. But I did put the dogs in their pajamas. Anytime it's below 70 degrees, since they're hairless dogs, uh, we go ahead and put them in their pajamas. Look what just passed us up. A host truck camper. Those are nice. Here's our site here guys at Village of Trees RV Resort right near Burley, Idaho. We did get full hookups so there's 50, 30 amp water and sewer here which is nice. It is a pull through site, plenty long. We dropped the deck and still have room as you can see for the truck. Fits a little bit sideways but hey at least it fits. We've been in places where the RV will barely fit. Um, also, we are right on the highway. Hopefully you can see it over there. The road noise was a little bit loud last night, but if you're an RVer, you kind of get used to that. The cool thing about this RV park is it has a convenience store attached to it with um, a restaurant and everything. And down here, if you look, you can hopefully see the river. That is the Snake River. So overall, we had a good stay here. Uh, it was only an overnight stopover but highly suggest it for an overnight stop or even an extended stay. The guy that helped us park said that it is very busy, booked out, uh, coming up very shortly. It's gonna be hard to find a place in here. Load of hay, load of hay, make a wish and look away. What did you wish for today? <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> it's travel day again and we are just leaving um, somewhere in Idaho Delco Idaho uh, we it was very near Burley I'd never heard of Burley before but I'll remember Burley Idaho now it's yes. funny it's a good name we went to Burley to go to get fuel and to go get some groceries um, but other than that we didn't do anything it was just a one night spot it was a very nice campground um, mm -hmm. we didn't go check out the pool or the laundry room or anything it's too cold for the pool but um, it's there's it's a funny entrance because you go through the parking lot of a gas station to go there now the campground actually owns the gas station and there's a full-service restaurant in there and they will deliver food to your site 
and we talked to one of the work campers there and he said that um, they're about to fill up the, they're almost completely booked but it's called Village of the Trees RV Resort in Delco Idaho and it's right on the Snake River they even have a path that you could walk down we took the dogs down right, right quick Xanadu jumped in the water a little bit and played <laughs> didn't have the camera but um, yeah that was a nice spot and um, so now we're traveling through Idaho into Oregon today, hopefully. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, last time we were in Idaho was two years ago on our way up to Washington, and we stayed in Mountain Home, Idaho, for a few nights. Um, this time we're just staying one night and um, not doing any exploring. But We're not going into town this time. Yeah. Last time we went into Boise in the truck, downtown Boise, and it was Never a mess. again. Yeah, it was a mess. The parking and all, and uh, we ended up the wrong way on a one-way street. That was fun. Yeah. Nobody got grouchy, of course. No. One-way <laughs> streets everywhere. Empty, closed parking lots. People honking at you and cutting you off. It was a great time. <laughs> yeah, sure it's a nice place, but not in a dually. <laughs> All right, we're going to take you along for the ride. in Baker City, Oregon, where we stayed just for one night. We didn't give you a site tour this time. We kind of got lost track of time this morning getting ready. And um, so today we decided to change our route, babe. Where are we going? We're going to Washington. Yeah, yeah, we were going to Washington yesterday, but we were gonna go a different route today instead of going. Um, well, we've got reservations on Monday at a thousand trails park and it's Thursday. So instead of spending money on days out of park, I decided let's just go to the Crescent Bar Park in near Wenatchee, Washington. Uh, Scott's aunt lives there and my good, my good friend, my um, best stepmother I never had, I call her, uh, lives there too. So we're traveling to that area today. We might even go to, um, what's that little German town in Washington? I give up. I, I, can't, don't know. I can't remember the name of it right now, but we might go there. I don't know. Leavenworth, that's it. Yeah, I don't know how far that is or whatever, but we're finally going to stop. We're not just staying overnight and moving again. That'll be nice for a change. Yeah. We'll We've be there. been going every day for three or four days now. Yep. Three nights in a row. So now we're going to stay there for four nights and then we're going to go on to our next stop for two weeks. So uh, we'll take you along to see some of this uh, pretty scenery. Into my mind.
here is our site here at Crescent Bar Thousand Trails, guys. We do have full hookups, uh, 50, 30 amp water and dump uh, on this side. So uh, everything you could need here. Uh, it was a very, very nice uh, place to camp. The site was fairly level. It is gravel, as you can see, uh, but we backed in pretty easily. And luckily, we came on uh, opening day of this park because they are closed seasonally. And this is the view we had off of our deck right here, looking out over the river across the canyon there. What an awesome view we had. We even extended here for a few days, guys. One, because the weather was getting a little rough on for move day. And two, because we didn't want to go anywhere when we had this view out of our back deck. Coming around this side, you do see uh, this side it has grass on it between um, the two sites here. Not a whole lot of room between the sites. And I believe that we got the only available site on the water. All these other sites are seasonal. I'm almost positive uh, of this whole line of sites. We got the only one that was available for transients. Um, other than that, everything was a pretty standard site, not bad level wise, and we really had a good time here as far as the view goes for sure. Highly recommend coming here uh, at least once uh, just to check out this view. There's also right down the hill there, you can probably see those people walking in the distance. That is a, I guess, a city park. There's a nice walking or biking trail with uh, access down to the water. There's a golf course right across the street from us. So right over there is a golf course. And um, that's about it. This whole area down here is open seasonally. Uh, I'm guessing from mid to end of April, which is when we got here. Um, so yeah, come on out and check out Crescent Bar Thousand Trails. What a beautiful spot. Well, thanks for sticking around this long, guys. If you like this kind of video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. We really like the comments and we answer every single one. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything but a couple of seconds and it really, really helps out our channel. So we'd appreciate it. And now you've made it all the way to the big weight loss reveal. Today was weight day again and I lost zero for a total of 29 pounds, still down. And he's so close to the end, he's only got five pounds to go, so he had a plateau week, and I think next week he'll be even closer to that big uh, final number. Yeah. And I lost uh, three pounds even for a total of 37 and a half pounds. Um, I'll call it 38 in 13 <laughs> weeks. And let me tell you right now, we have a special going on. You can save $100 off the program. Uh, it's the May special. So go ahead and contact us. There's going to be a link in the description. And we'd love to chat with you about it, about what we're doing, and see if it'll be a good fit for you. Absolutely. So just get in, in contact with us. Click that link, fill it out, and send it back. Or just send us some kind of message. We'll always have time to talk to you guys about getting healthy. Well, as always, Semper Fi. And God bless. Hello, I'm Dee, Buck Bandy on YouTube, and I'll see you next time on Jarhead and Ginger.